Hi, and thanks for joining us for another one of Family Marines videos. My name's Tom. So uh, what we're here to do today is we're going to talk about a new model from Barletta. Um, for 2023, they came out with a new series of boats that are called Arias. Now, some people will call it Area. Some people call it Aria. It depends on which part of the country you're from, right? We'll call it an Aria. Um, so it's brand new. It's a brand new model for 2023 and uh, comes in 20s and 22 foot. Now we've chosen not to stock the 20 footers because there just doesn't seem to be a big enough price difference between the 20 and the 22 and therefore the 22 becomes a much better value. You know, let's, let's talk about value. The word value for a minute. The Aria is the lowest level of boats from Barletta. So it goes Aria, Cabrio, Corsa, Lusso. And you might think that, oh, because it's the lowest entry level model that they have, that it's a value oriented boat. Now, I, I, the word value, I think, is, is not being used in its proper context today. Value to a lot of people means, oh, it's a cheap, inexpensive, poor quality product. Um, okay, if, if that's the way you feel, sure, that's fine. I tend to look at it differently. I tend to look at the word value is you get a lot of product for a little bit of money. And that's what the Arias are built around. It's a very, very good quality boat. It is not an inexpensively built boat. They use so many features in this model that we'll go through today that they do on the Cabrios and the Corsas and the Lusos. Is, 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 is not an inexpensively built boat by no means, but it is a very, very good value, okay? So in saying that, I wanna go through some of the features that this boat has and show you that it's such a good value. Now, one of the first things that you'll notice is we brought this one in in what's called a matte blue. Now on the Arias, they are only available in a monotone, so a single colored outside. They have black, they have uh, matte black, they have charcoal, they have a burgundy, they have a champagne, okay? But it's only a monotone on the outside where all the other models are available in a two-tone on the exterior, right? So to help keep the price down, Barletta only offers it in a monotone on the outside. Now you'll also notice that this does have the optional blackout package. So the rails are anodized black, the rub rail, the skirting, and the bimini top frame is anodized black. Normally, standard is the normal aluminum looking rail that you see on everybody's pontoon out there. We love this blackout package. We think that it just enhances the appearance of the boat tenfold, so uh, every boat we stock has a blackout package on it. Okay, so now, 25 inch diameter tubes, just like the Corsa, excuse me, Corsas have 26 inch diameter tubes, just like the Cabrio. So the Aria and the Cabrio both have 25 inch diameter tubes, where the Corsa and the Lusso have 26 inch diameter tubes. We still use the heavy duty splash rail up in the front. We still got the solid keel going down the bottom of the tube. All right. We've still got the polished stainless steel corner castings and the stainless steel pop-up cleats. So they're not using inexpensive, less expensive products here or here. Still have the LED docking lights. Excuse me, that's a navigation light. Those are the docking lights. Same docking lights that they have on the cabrios. Now, also standard equipment, just like every Barletta that's made is a electric power bimini top. Now you would think that, well, if it's a value oriented boat and they're trying to keep the price down, that they would put the standard manual bimini on the boat. Nope. Barletta wants to offer an electric bimini, boat, uh, electric bimini top on every one of their boats. Okay, so this being a model that's called an ARIA UC. And when we get inside, we'll show you what the U stands for and what the C stands for. 
But in a UC, you're going to get the stainless steel stanchions in the back of the board. I love the way that they curve this. It looks very, very attractive. Okay, and then that gives you the safety chains coming over to the Skeeto pylon. And then your boarding ladder is in the back. Now you'll notice that they haven't cheapened up the boarding ladder. You still get the same stainless steel telescopic boarding ladder that's on the Cabrio. Very, very attractive. All right, so on this 22 foot Aria, it's a 21 foot 10 inch deck. So that means from here to the bow, the deck is 21 feet 10 inches. Well, close enough to 22 feet, we're gonna call it 22 foot boat. And you'll notice also that the transom extends out the back, which allows more room on the swim platform for maneuverability. And our built-in fuel tank fills from the center, so no matter what side of the gas pump you pull up to, you're, it's easy to access the fuel fill. So this being a 2-tube pontoon, we put a 115 horsepower motor on it. It is actually rated to a 150. Uh, most of the 2-tubes that we sell are going to be sold with a 115. Um, often when we go to a 150, we end up upgrading people to a triple tune. Because you get, if you're going to pay the money to get a 150, you might as well pay a little bit more and get a triple tune and get a lot better performance than you would if it was a two tube. So let's take a look at the inside. Okay, 22 foot Aria UC, Ultra Lounge Co pilot, is what the UC stands for. But in all the models, the bow bench seating is the same whether it's a UC or a QC or a U or a, C, a Q, all the bench seats up front are the same. So what we have here, nice chase lounge ahead of the console, nice storage compartments underneath the seats, a couple of cup holders, stereo speaker, USB jack, and that's the new uh, type of USB jack that they've come out with is a C USB or something like that but it's the newer version of the USB and under here we have our trash can now in the Aria unlike the Cabrio we did not get the armrests the Cabrio has a pair of armrests that flip down right here in order to help keep the cost down of the Aria they deleted the armrests okay likewise in a cabrio, this would be a door that would swing up for a table. Here we do not get that door. Again, one of the things that helps keep the price down. We do, however, still get... <laughs> our pet food tray. So now you can feed your pets while you're out boating. And the side gate and the front gate have what we call a doggy dock view. So it's kind of like a screen mesh material that's on the front gate. You can see my hand through there. This way, when you're out on the lake, your pets can look through the door. Kind of nice, huh? Um, same upholstery, same cushions that are in a cabrio. Very comfortable, outstanding performance with the vinyl. Has a lot of UV inhibitor built in. It is the soft touch vinyl even uh, just like what's in the cabrio. Very attractive looking accents in the seats. So they've done a really, really nice job on the upholstery of this boat. Okay, so midships in the boat, I mentioned this was a UC, and the C stands for the co-pilot's chair. If it was just a U, you'd have a bench seat here with a rear-facing chase lounge. Now, what we tend to find is most often the gals are saying, look, I want my own captain's chair. I want to be able to swivel. I want to be able to recline. All right? I want to be across from my husband or vice versa. Depends on who's driving the boat. But to have your own personal co-pilot's chair, we find is very, very important. As I said, we have pop-up armrests. A little lever down here reclines it. All right, same caddy 
with a couple of cup holders, a cell phone holder, and a USB jack down below with a little net down there for keeping small equipment stored away. Okay, so that is what the C of the UC is. Now the U stands for the Ultra Lounge. Here we have the Ultra Lounge. Okay, two stereo speakers out the front, USB jack over in the corner, um, cup holders over on the port side, cup holders on the starboard side. So in the position that it's in right now, we've got a forward-facing bench seat. So we can sit three adults across that bench seat. So here's what we find. Here's what I find with my family and my friends when we go pontooning. Um, more <laughs> times than not, my wife and her friends tend to sit up front. Often we'll put a little table up there, cockpit table, pedestal table, because they like to have a place to put their little celery snacks and things like that. And then the guys, the guys, we tend to sit back here. So I've got this little conversation pit here with my buddies. Got one buddy over there. I got a couple of buddies back here. All right. So we can talk football and baseball and whatnot with our little conversation pit. We're all nice and close together, and I can hear them. I've had so many people in the past tell me that they like the seating configuration because their previous boat, the captain sitting here and everybody sitting up front, he felt like a chauffeur because he wasn't included in the conversation. He couldn't hear people up front. So to have this nice little conversation pit here is really nice to have. Again, we've got our own cup holders. Now, for those with little tykes, some people will say, well, I want the little tykes to be enclosed in, so that's kind of important to keep them in the cockpit, and I agree. So what Barletta does is they have a gate right here that we can close that'll help keep the little tykes inside the cockpit of the pontoon. All right. Now, this being a multifunction bench seat, what we can do is we can lay this down and now we have a nice size sun deck. That's kind of nice, isn't it? So the teenagers, they like the suntan. Put a cushion up there or a pillow or something and you've got a very nice area to suntan. We can also lift this up and make a rear-facing lounge. So now let's say that the kids are out tubing or skiing or wakeboarding. We can have people sitting back here watching the kids with their water sports. Again, sun tanning, cruising. Because we have the safety chains, it's legal to sit back here or lay back here while the boat's underway. Cup holders make it convenient for a place to put your refreshment when you're not drinking it. So that's a nice reason to have the safety stanchions with the chains in the back to make it legal to sit back here. And then of course when you're putting your cover on or you're boarding or debarking, you've got some nice space back here to walk all around the back of the pontoon. It's easy to walk through here with our ski toe bar and being in the middle. We can easily disconnect those chains and board or debark from the port or the starboard side. Now, a cover is standard with all Barletta's, and that's what we have stored under here. And you'll see that they have these nice storage tubs to retain your gear. There's another storage tub in the back storage compartment. And then in the, underneath the center storage compartment is our battery, again in a storage tub. So we've got our starting battery. And then on the outside is the battery selector switch. Um, it's really nice. I love having a battery selector switch. When I'm done using the pontoon for the day, first thing I do is I come back here and I turn that battery switch off. I can walk away from the boat and not worry about forgetting to leave something on 
that would kill the battery. I could have all my accessories, my stereo, my depth finder, I could have everything on, all they gotta do is hit one switch and they all go dead. Never have to worry about a dead battery. Okay, now here we've got the, the rear portion of the um, Ultra Lounge flipped up at a 45 degree angle. So we, now we have a forward facing lounge where we can lay three people across this, the uh, bench seat. So this is again, multi-purpose. I can lay these down flat. I can flip this one up at a 45. I can flip this one up at a 45, rear facing, forward facing, multifunctional, right? Perfect, I love it. Okay, on the helm. First thing, the uh, captain's chair swivels, reclines, armrests pop up and down, seat slider to move it back and forth. And I want to point out something that so many pontoon manufacturers miss, which is so important in my mind, is critical because I've got long legs. Notice the leg room that I have underneath the helm. Oh my gosh, that is so important. Have you ever been in an airplane where you have to sit like this because you have no leg room for hours and your knees start to bind up? It's like you need a can of oil to oil those muscles in your knees, right? <laughs> I like to be able to stretch my legs out. I have to because my knees get sore if I don't. So being able to stretch my legs out with that amount of leg room is really, to me, very, very important. I think the most people it would be. Okay, so on the helm itself, we have our Hertz AM FM stereo. That's Bluetooth, of course. And Hertz is an Italian stereo company. Um, in this boat, it's, you know, I'm not gonna say it's high fidelity. It's pretty good sound. It's decent. Um, is it the same quality sound that's in, say, the Luso with the subwoofer and amp? No, but it's pretty decent. It's a decent sounding stereo system. We have our tachometer with our multi-function LCD screen so we can see multiple things in that screen. We have our speedometer with our trim gauge and our fuel gauge. Here we did the optional Hook 5 Lowrance depth finder slash fish locator. So that's a whole LCD screen we can see bottom structure, we can see a digital depth, we can see speed, we can see um, uh, 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 water temperature. We've got three little insignias in there that show us those three things. And we have a GPS. This is a GPS unit. So by toggling to different switches, you can get your GPS, you can hook, mark your waypoints. So it's really a nice feature. And this even has the little trap door over on the side where you can put your lake chip maps. Perfect, huh? Um, navigation lights, docking lights, interior lights, uh, uh, extra switches, horn, um, USB jack. Here we also have an eighth inch jack. So if you have the old style eighth inch jack for your phone to plug your stereo, or just plug your phone into your stereo, this USB jack is hooked to the stereo. The other two are not. They're, those are just for charging. Our mercury controls, trim and tilt right by the thumb, ignition switch, um, safety lanyard, and this is a switch for our power bimini. So all we got to do is up or down to open and, and uh, close our power bimini. Then we also have the uh, cup holder for the all-important captain of the boat. Oh, I almost forgot the tilt wheel. Yes, it is a five position tilt wheel, standard on this boat. So, you know, uh, everything that I've gone through, <coughs> there's only two options included with this boat. The fish locator and the blackout package. Everything else is standard. That's pretty cool. That's why I say it's a really good value. So many times other boat manufacturing companies they go after a value boat, but they make everything optional. And ultimately, by the time you get done paying for all the options that you want, you end up paying more than what this boat is. So it's a really, really good value because it's a quality built pontoon that, has, that is fully featured, right? 
So that kind of ends our little video for today on the 22-foot Aria UC Ultra Lounge with the Co-Pilot's Chair. If you'd like more information on it, please give us a call. Our phone number is area code 320 2628 You can see us on the website at www.familymarineboats.com. Or more importantly, go to YouTube, up in the search bar at the top, search Family Marine Wilmer, and you'll see our, our channel. Click on our channel, and oh my goodness, there's tons and tons of videos that will help you decide what is the right boat for you. Easiest way is to give us a call. I'm Tom, Corey is behind the camera. He's our sales guy. Um, we can help answer all those questions that you have. Another thing you can do is text us. Um, our phone number is also a text number, 320-222-2628-222-BOAT. Um, you can text us at that same very number. So that covers it for today. Thank you very much for watching.